Good morning. Steve Mathis here with my trusty Sony A1 400 millimeter 2.8. Uh, there's a bull elk bugling over here in the meadow, kind of out there behind those trees. Uh, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that he's going to come across through here in the fog and that I can be ready to photograph him here. So, uh, of course, I have no idea if that's what he's going to do. It's a... Okay, he's getting kind of closer, so I better wrap this up quick. But that's what I'm doing out here. I'm hoping this guy comes across and uh, swims through the Snake River here, through the fog, which would be killer. So, I've got a little bit of time here before the sun comes up. I've been waiting here for a while already, just kind of listening to see where he's at, and he's definitely coming this way, so this is great news. I haven't even seen him yet. I've just heard him. But I'm excited to be here all alone, and this time of year in the Tetons, to be all alone is a difficult thing. <laughs> so uh, I'm doing lots of workshops, so I'm out here all the time with clients and with the crowds and everything. So it's nice to have a morning off where I can come out and find a little solitude. Hopefully make some photos. That would be ideal. Hopefully make a YouTube video. That would be ideal because I don't get many opportunities to make YouTube videos this time of year because I'm so busy out in the field with workshop clients. Oh, a kingfisher just landed 30 feet from me. Okay, hold this thought. They're so skittish. I can't imagine I'll be able to get... Oh, no, he already flying away. Let's see if you can see him out there. Yeah, I never stood a chance. They're so skittish around here. Uh, so anyway, I'm out here, it's pretty dark. I'm using the f2.8 here, of course, and it's a wonderful lens, and f2.8 is wonderful for situations like this. So anyway, I'm just kind of gonna set up here nice and low, looking downstream. Hopefully I would get a glimpse of the bull as he comes across behind those trees or something, and then maybe comes out here and swims. It's a, um, I wouldn't say it's a long shot, but everything would have to go perfectly to get this shot this morning. So hopefully that might happen. And uh, just kind of keeping my eyes out for other things that might show up out here. Okay, well, thanks for joining me. Crossing my fingers.
today it didn't happen. We were here waiting. My, my friend Kurt, you know, I was all alone. My friend Kurt had the same brilliant idea as I did. Uh, Kurt Chemnitzer here. I'll link to his Instagram. Check out his work at Kurt Chemnitzer. It's funny spelling. K yeah, it's K-E-M-N-I-T-Z-E-R. And Kurt is with a K. K-U-R-T. Yeah, yeah. So I'll link to that in the description as well. Um, but he's apparently as bad as I am at predicting <laughs> when the elk are going to cross the river here. Um, but it is nice to be out here. It's, it's good to see Kurt out here as well. He does great work. Um, but today is one of those mornings where like we had the elk come right, heading right where we wanted him to and uh, made a few photos of him. There goes a great blue heron. Oh, that reminds me. Hold that thought. Great blue heron thought. Um, but the elk was coming exactly where we wanted. And then he just did a 180 and went back into the willows. Don't know why, but that's how it goes out here. So, you know, we've been out here in the cold. It's nice now. The sun came out. It's beautiful. Waiting, hoping for this to happen and didn't happen. And that happens all the time out here. It does, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's part of the deal. Uh, but it's great to be out here. And the great blue heron thought was... So I made a few photos of that elk as he was kind of coming through the trees there. Nothing fantastic, of course. But I think I had a great blue heron fly by in the, uh, in the fog. I think that's going to be my, uh, my savior for the morning. It was actually a nice photo. So I'll show you that photo and a couple of photos of the elk that I took. But uh, that'll be it for today. We're just out here with our, with our big lenses. Kurt's got the 600 on today. I had the 4028. And... Uh, just having a great time. So good to see Kurt. Good to see you. And um, check out his stuff. He's doing great work on Instagram. See you in the next video. Take care.